All right, breaking here at five, blood all over the parking lot, two cars running with the keys in the ground. A pretty scary scene unfolded at an apartment complex full of FGCU students. Now, we first brought you the story early this morning. Now, hours later, we are pushing for more answers. Wink News reporter Claire Galt is live now outside of the Reef Apartments. And Claire, do we know what happened here? Preston Nicole, the Lee County Sheriff's Office will not tell me or the people who live here at the reef what happened last night. And neighbors here are scared. They want clarity. But one thing they told me is clear is that a man died here last night. How do they know? Because they saw it with their own eyes. Caution tape. We couldn't leave our building. Lee County Sheriff's Office deputies. And asking witnesses questions. Blood. In the middle of the street. Gunshots. I heard multiple. I don't remember if it was two or three. A body. It was covered in a tarp, but we could still see his feet. Late Sunday night, neighbors at the off-campus reef student living near FGCU saw this scene and had one question. What the heck was going on? That was, like, traumatizing. When Alyssa Alberson first heard the shots, she didn't think anything of it. But when she finally looked outside, she saw a man dead in the ground. Grass and two cars still running. A bluish gray Volkswagen sedan and a silver Hyundai sedan. The car stayed running until a tow truck took them away. I've never seen anything like it. Alex Mills told me he won't ever forget it. But this is it's a travesty. I feel bad for the victim's family and I hope um, I, it's just an unfortunate situation. Neighbors told me they don't know who was under that tarp, what happened or why, but it doesn't matter. It was a member of our community and they're a human being, so you never want somebody to go through that, especially you, you seeing it right here. So It definitely makes you want to hold like your family and friends a lot closer. I do want to mention while many FGCU students do live here, this is not an FGCU property and a spokesperson for the university told me no comment when I reached out instead directed me to talk to LCSO, which as I mentioned, will not answer my questions. Live in Estero, Claire Galt, Wink News.